Hello, good morning. Welcome to our live and comprehensive coverage of Wales's World Cup campaign. It's good to have your company. The Six Nations man of the tournament, quite an accolade, but very well deserved. Well, that was absolutely amazing. A number of emails of a similar ilk yeah. coming into us. It's fair to say there's going to be some people who are glad to see the back of you. Absolutely. And, um... You know, I accept that. We talked about George North's courage, but the courage of those forwards today, particularly in the boiler house, was was quite extraordinary again. I mean, they've, they've laid themselves on the line again and again, haven't they? Yeah, we have, and uh, like we said earlier on, you know, we can't fault the commitment of the boys. Well, this Wales Open really seems to be one of records or near records, doesn't it? Remember Phil Archer almost shooting a first round 59 at the start of the tournament? Well, the overnight leader, Robert Carlson, he's gone one better and actually made European Tour history. He's notched up just 189 shots over 54 holes and that beats Tiger Woods' six-year record by three shots. So what's he got in the bag for today? We were talking about how instrumental Sam Warburton was last week. He was the disappointed skipper last week. He's not this time round. We're going to get some reaction now from the victorious Sam Warburton. I think we both said he'll go 2-1 in a tie-break and uh, thankfully just went my way. You both did say 2-1 in the tie-break. I want the lottery numbers off you for the weekend. Yeah, they're 6, 12, 24, <laughs> 3, 7. <laughs> Brendan, I'm not insinuating you're a betting man, but you've got good instincts. At what point do you think the tide is going to turn for you? I think we'll be favourites hopefully this weekend. <laughs> Brendan Rogers has adopted the motto per adua ad astra this season, through adversity to the stars. Swansea's tide may have been ebbing rather than flowing recently when it comes to goals, but both he and the players are promising they'll rise to the challenge and more again this weekend. Much has been made of that great combination of Rhys Priestland and Jamie Roberts that Rhys Priestland was really allowing Jamie Roberts to play his game. He wasn't perhaps able to do it quite as much today, but I mean, we can't be in a situation where we're just reliant on one player, you know, as we have been sometimes in the past. No, as I said, I don't think, you know, I don't think actually Rhys would have made that much difference in that sense. Whoever comes in as the, as the coach, a new face, Scott Johnson, whoever it's going to be, he's going to have to work with this group of players. Possibly not Gareth Thomas, but what about in terms of the Welsh structure of play? Does that have to be looked at again? I, I think I think we've got caught in this web of, do you know we won the Grand Slam, Fran? It was magnificent. Go one hurdle over, come back home, and then it's all on for That the... sounds too practical for you, because I know you've already been putting money on the final. Who's going to be there? Uh, I got uh, I, I got Australia, France, only because of the odds. Of course, it's a big home tournament. Does that sometimes, uh, it can work to your advantage, can work against you as well, I guess? Yeah, it can do, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know what I'm doing next year. This could be the last year I come, that's probably. Really? Could be. That drastic? Might be, yeah. Because of the putting? Oh, yeah. Alain Roland is going to come in for a lot of flack, not least from here in Wales, but I suspect throughout the world for that one because people really wanted to see that contest go right down to the wire, uh, which it did, but not on an equal parity. Without a doubt. And, you know, we don't... I don't want uh, Alain Roland to be a scapegoat for, for what's happened. As the boss said earlier, an awful lot of chances being created. It must be very frustrating that you still haven't found the back of the net. Yeah, not definitely. you personally, but the team. <laughs> no, definitely. I think... Uh, the pleasing thing is we are creating chances. Guys, we've got 10 seconds. Who's been the man of the tournament for Wales, as far as you're concerned? Sam Warburton. Sam Warburton. Jamie Roberts. Jamie Roberts. Either of those two, really. I think everyone's been fantastic. Those two guys have, have really stood out. Yeah, absolutely. And haven't they given us great entertainment? And you have as well. Thank you so much indeed for being with me. I've really enjoyed it. Really appreciated your company and your analysis, which has been spot on. Thanks, guys, very much indeed. OK, that's just about it from us. See the World Cup final, the All Blacks against France, here on ITV on Sunday morning. Build-up starts at half past eight. But for Wales, the carnival is over, sadly. What a ride we've had. Great games, some wonderful rugby, delight and despair along the way. Should we do it all again in four years? It's a date. Thanks very much indeed for your company throughout. But for now, from all of us here, bye for now. I've got to have one of these. I wonder if the boss will let me put it on expenses. <laughs> if I can get out of the thing. <laughs>